Welcome to Empower English Readers. We present the story, The Children of Odin, the Book of Northern Myths by Padraic Colum. Part 1. Residence of Asgard. Chapter 3. Iduna and her Apples. In Asgard there was a garden. In this garden a tree grew. And on this tree, bright apples grew. You know, dear friend, that each passing day makes us old. One day we will become weak and old. But those shiny apples from Asgard were special. Anyone who ate them didn't grow old. The apples kept old age away. A goddess named Iduna cared for this apple tree. Without her, no apples would grow. Only Iduna could pick the apples. She picked apples daily and put them in her basket. Every day, the gods came to eat the apples. They wanted to stay young forever. Iduna always stayed in her garden. She listened to stories from her husband, Bragi. But one day, Iduna and her apples went missing from Asgard. The gods started feeling old. I will tell you how this happened. Odin, the chief god, often visited the human world. One time, he took Loki with him. Loki could do both good and evil. They travelled for a long time. Finally, they reached the land of the giants, Jotunheim. Jotunheim was barren and cold. Nothing grew there, not even berry trees. There were no birds or animals. Odin and Loki became hungry, but they couldn't find food. Loki found a group of wild cows. He quietly approached and killed a young one. He then cut it into pieces. He started a fire and put the meat on it to cook. Meanwhile, Odin was thinking about human activities. Loki kept adding wood to the fire. When the meat seemed ready, he called Odin. Odin came and sat next to the fire for the meal. But the meat was still raw when Odin tried to cut it. Loki felt upset about his mistake. He put the meat back on the fire. Once again, he took the meat off and called Odin. But the meat was still as raw as before. Is this your trick, Loki? Odin asked. Loki was too angry to play tricks. He was mad at the meat and the fire. He kept trying to cook the meat, but each time the meat remained raw. Now Odin thought that the giants had used magic on the meat. He left hungry but full of strength. Loki, however, stayed. He insisted on cooking the meat. He didn't want to leave without eating. Morning came and Loki took up the meat. He heard a sound in the sky. Looking up, he saw a huge eagle. It was the biggest eagle he ever saw. The eagle flew above Loki. Can't you cook your food? The eagle yelled. I can't cook it, said Loki. I can cook it if you share it with me, yelled the eagle. Come and cook it for me, said Loki. The eagle flew above the fire. It made the fire blaze by flapping its wings. The fire became very hot. Soon, Loki found the meat was cooked. Give me my share, yelled the eagle. It ate a big piece of meat. It ate more and more. Loki seemed to be left with nothing. 
Loki got angry when the eagle took the last piece. He hit the eagle with the meat spit. It made a metal sound. The spit stuck to the eagle. Loki didn't let go. Suddenly the eagle flew up. Loki was pulled up with it. Soon Loki was high in the sky. The eagle was taking him to Jotunheim, the giant's land. Loki, I've got you, yelled the eagle. You cheated my brother, but I've got you now. I am Thiassa the giant, and you are my prisoner. They flew over a river. Below Loki was a scary place. It was full of ice and rocks. It had big mountains. They were lit by fire coming from the earth. The eagle dropped Loki on an iceberg. You're in my power, he yelled and left. Loki felt very cold and miserable on the iceberg. But as an Asgard resident, he couldn't die. He felt chained to the iceberg by the cold. After a day, Thiassi the giant came. Do you want to leave this? Iceberg Loki, he asked. You love Asgard, though you're half-giant. I wish I could leave, Loki said, his tears freezing. You can leave if you pay me. Get me Iduna's apples, said Thiassi. I can't get Iduna's apples for you, Thiassi, said Loki. Then stay on the iceberg, said Thiassi. He left Loki alone with the cold, harsh wind. When Thiassi came back, Loki said, I can't get the shiny apples from Iduna. There must be a way, Loki, said the giant. Iduna is simple. I might make her leave Asgard. She always carries her apples, said Loki. Make her leave Asgard. Swear you will do it and I will free you, said the giant. I swear I will make Iduna leave Asgard if you free me, said Loki. Thiassi became an eagle. He took Loki to the land of men. Loki went to Asgard. Odin was there. He told everyone about Loki's failed cooking. They laughed at Loki's hunger. When Loki came, they laughed more, but they gave him good food and wine. After eating, they went to Iduna's garden. Iduna was in her golden house. She looked innocent and kind. Her eyes were blue. She had a basket of shiny apples. Iduna gave each god an apple. Everyone felt happy knowing they won't grow old. After praising Iduna, they left the garden. Only Loki stayed. He looked at Iduna. Why are you still here, Loki? she asked. I'm looking at your apples. I saw brighter ones yesterday, said Loki. No apples are brighter than mine, said Iduna. The apples I saw were brighter and smelled better, said Loki. Iduna felt sad. It can't be. My apples are the best, she said. Don't see the apples are just outside Asgard, said Loki. I will go, Loki, said Iduna. Iduna left Asgard. She looked for the apples. Then... She heard sound. Looking up, she saw a huge eagle. She tried to run to the Asgard gate. The big eagle swooped down and took her. Iduna was being flown away from Asgard, far away, over the land of men, towards Jotunheim. The eagle flew into a mountain. Iduna was in a fiery cave. The eagle 
let go of Iduna. He turned into a scary giant. Why did you take me from Asgard? Iduna asked. I want your shiny apples, said giant Theasi. I won't give them to you, said Iduna. Give them to me and I'll take you back to Asgard. No, only the gods can have these apples. I will take them from you, Theasi said. He tried to take the apples. They became bad. He knew he needed her to give him the apples. You will stay here until you give me the apples, he said. Iduna was scared. She was scared of the cave, the fire, the giant, and what could happen to Asgard without her apple. Theasi came again, but she didn't give the apples. She was scared in the cave. She saw in dreams how Asgard was changing without her apples. In Asgard, the gods and goddesses went to her garden. They saw they were becoming old. They became sad and scared. Odin used his wisdom to find her. He called his ravens Hugin and Munin. They knew everything. They told Odin about Thiassi and Loki's trick. Odin told the gods what he learnt from his ravens. Thor went to Loki and grabbed him. Why are you grabbing me, Thor? asked Loki. I want to throw you away and hit you with thunder. You made Iduna leave Asgard. Do not hit me, Thor. I will try to bring her back. The gods say you must bring Iduna back from Jotunheim. Go, or I will throw you. I will go, said Loki. Loki borrowed Frigga's falcon feather dress. He wore it and flew to Jotunheim as a falcon. He found Theas's daughter, Skadi and let her catch him. One day, Skadi brought him to Iduna. Loki flew up to the cave's high rocks. Skadi was sad and stopped looking for him. Loki flew to Iduna and spoke to her. She was happy to see him. Loki told her to turn into a sparrow using a magic spell. She hid her apples before she changed. Skadi saw the falcon and sparrow fly away. Thiassi changed into an eagle and chased them. They were flying to Asgard. The gods saw them and lit fires on the wall. Loki and Iduna flew through the fires. Thiassi could not and fell. Loki was blamed for his death. Iduna was back in Asgard. She gave the gods her apples again. They became young and happy. The next chapter, Sif's Golden Hair.